So, welcome back everybody to tonight's game of Tales of Fumbles and Fortunes. Uh, just had ourselves a wee little breaky. Mm. Let's recharge glasses and energy and what have you. So, back to you guys. Uh, you wake up in the morning to those of you that stayed in the Gilded Coin, which I think is all of you. You wake yeah. up to the sound yep. of a delicious smelling fried breakfast. Oh, oh that, that, food. at least I can smell. But <laughs> you do I wake up. Open my eyes and so, like, oh wait, I can see. <laughs> yeah, those of you that wake up, but from the blindness and deafness that, that took the effect, the sounds are very loud. The light is very bright. Think of the worst hangover you've ever had, and the loudest pass you've been to, and then the morning after. Oh my god! It's oh. on. It's full on crawl down the stairs mode. Oh, dude. Oh. Only thing missing from that is what the hell did I do last night phrase? Sadly, you knew exactly what you did last night. <laughs> Indeed. Well, at least we only blew the bloody dolls off. <laughs> Yes. My have response with, and the mine, and my sense of hearing. Ah, oh, so noisy, but breakfast smells so good. Mm, uh, think, think later. Feed, feed, feed now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the barkeep and the staff and everyone, you know, show you to a nice little simple table. Off you breakfast. Uh, it's just a selection of. Bacon, uh, to um, not quite stale, but it's certainly going off bread. But they've fried it just to stop it from being completely stale all the way through. A um, couple of eggs, you know, simple fry up breakfast, nothing amazing. And they Fair do enough. ask for a silver for your breakfast. It's not included in your stay here. I will give them a silver piece. And I shall I, give them a silver as well. Yes, yeah, I will gladly silver that. Alright then. So, what is your plan for today? Okay, so, blew off the mine. Uh, I'm gonna guess that because the mine's now gone, uh, Iron, Iron Brand would have gone already. Well, you saw the size of his workshop. He's got a lot of stuff to pack up. He's probably still packing up right now. Mm. So it's better let him know. So well, we'll done it. So we'll be heading. At least I will be heading to his office after a hearty breakfast. I think that's a good plan. At least, at least we can let him know the job's done. Uh, I say that as I'm stuffing myself in my room. Yeah, for you guys, it's a bit of a real experience. He watches my have like full on face plants to plate, and it's just no, no, like dog on the table sort of situation. <laughs> my have manners. It just flips the bird. Does not say a word. Just continues to munch into the plate. <laughs> I, just, I just like. Edge my plate just slightly away from him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that I think, I think that's a solid plan. Like finish up here, go over there, check on him, let him know the job's done. Yes. Mm. All right then. So you guys begin to make your way to Iron Brand's office. He's cleared most of his workshop out and everything else, so um, a lot of the Forges are left to go cold and simmer over. They've packed up most of the blades, a lot of the armor, just getting it to market to sell, or they're going to trade it off in town and meet back up with him later on when he leaves. His mechanical siege engine sits mm. there on its little pedestal, and it looks more or less complete than it did yesterday. They seem to be working harder than overnight. See a couple of the gnomes are sound asleep up against like its feet. And as yeah. you go into 
I'm Brand's office. You can hear him groggily waking up and slowly slumping towards the door. He opens it and sees all of you lot. Oh, morning. Oh, sorry. Um, bit busy last night. Inventing and making things. Uh, how well, how did things go? You, ma'am. Things. Ma'am, I think you mean well. man. Um. You seem to. Iron Brand is a man. Oh. He is a man, well, man. Things, <laughs> <laughs> well, things went well, sir. It gives you the thumbs up. And like, yeah, I I saw the gods uh, move en masse towards the mine. I took it, you took out a lot of it beyond just what they asked for. Well, we may have used some of the ember stone to put a little bit of bang in the buck. How... At which point he's like, sorry, coming to realise, well, hang on, how do you guys get a hold of M-Stone? That stuff is rare as hen's teeth. I thought you, it was in your mind. That, uh, was, that is our secret to know, and nobody well, can find out. Yeah, yeah, I just like slap my, slap my hand over my mouth as, <laughs> as I was about to say that, just go, hmm! <laughs> <laughs> Gives you... A very dazed looking expression. Well, at least we know that I found something down there. Hopefully, my uh, dwarven confidants are a little bit more open when it comes to mining expeditions. Hopefully now, so. with all this happening, no one's suspicious about anything, right? As far as I'm aware, they're declaring it as a mining accident. A typical gold mine. Woo! <laughs> no, well, that's... No dirt, no fuss. We are glad to hear that. Although, there was one more thing I'd... If I, actually, no, I shouldn't ask too much of you. You've done an amazing job. And he hands you two notes. The oh. first of which is the map that he promised you. So, oh, sweet. Treasure uh, map. F if I flip us over to the main world map, whoops. Yep. For a second, uh, do the same with our wonderful viewers. So you guys are currently up here in, em <coughs> in Ember Mine. Uh, you can mm, see like yep. the size of the main shaft that Goldmire was using, but everybody else uses like the same mine shaft that's owned by Goldmire. Um, but the map leads you to a little grotto just to the northeast between the mountains and past the hills. Wait a minute. So this is a map to... Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell us that this was a map going towards a grotto where I was told earlier that I could find the druid that I could find the awesome wood at and oh my god we're going! <laughs> <laughs> As you get me next I say, like, so, 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 no, what do you mean druids? What do druids like, have to do with this? Just in my head. I'm just clicking in my head and just going to all the pie members going, we're 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 going. Like reactive child mode. But, uh, no, hang on, we've, who said we're, anything about, do you what? Uh, Don't you... worry about it, he's just very excitable. Don't. I, I can see that, would you like some coffee? Like calm you down? Uh, I don't think coffee would calm anyone down at this point. I think it would just make things worse, but... Mm, fine. But we're, but we're grateful for the map. Thank you. <coughs> um, and he also hands you a second note, um, which is kind of like a business card, but more done out as a letter. Uh, personally congratulating you if you show this to the bank in town. Um, okay. It has... It's like a fully described letter and everything else. Signed, sealed with his company's seal, which is uh, an anvil uh, with a crack going through it. Mm. Ooh. Um, nice. Basically saying to pay you a full sum of 600 gold pieces. Oh, Ooh, nice. Money, money, money. We can get hats. Anyone that wishes to... We get matching time. <laughs> 
<laughs> if they want like magic tattoos. If they want to <laughs> get in contact with him later, um, because he is now officially leaving Embermine, the best bet they'll have is a small dwarven town known as Emberstone, which is far to the north. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, well uh, I just I just look over to uh, I just look at the dude and I'm like, like, well, thank you very much. This is this is fantastic. Are you <coughs> sure you'll you'll be fine packing up everything on your own? Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. I mean, the rest of my lads are going off to market and towns just to try and sell the last of our wares. If they can't sell it, we're taking it with us anyway. And the plan is we're just gonna. Hoop everything into the carts, uh, get going, and as he talks, he's like walking around the workshop and he's getting the the gnomes up and feeding them coffee and high sugar just to kickstart them into gear. Taps the automaton like this thing will do the the rest of the work. Um, this actually gives me a really good idea. Um, if they're heading. If they're heading northward towards Edmundstone, um, right, I'm going to say to him again, okay, you, I know you guys are moving shop up towards Emberstone, but is Emberstone anywhere near to where this grotto is? Oh, Emberstone is miles away. Oh. But do you have we're, to we're go talking through like, or uh, past the grotto at all? Sit still and think about it for a second. Uh, no, our route uh, is going to be a bit of a weird one. We need to head Westward to start with towards the coast. Uh, there's a small port town where I've arranged for a captain and a ship. That will take us to Seagate and the Dwarven Kingdoms, and then from there that will take us to. We can go uh, by roads where we need to go. Ah, uh, gotcha. Never mind. You, you can Never go mind. northwards, but there's no like road or anything like that. It's pure wilderness. Right. Um, gotcha. I just I, I didn't know whether you were going in the same direction we might be going, so well, that's fine, that's fine. No, sadly. I know you want to see my automaton in action, but he's not combat ready. Well, at least maybe at some point we could visit you in Emberstone, uh, see if he is up and ready. Oh, by all means, it could be ready by then. Oh, fantastic. Like, I go out to extend him like a hearty handshake. Yeah, he likewise gives you the parties of handshakes. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's one friendship today. No. Oh, yes. Nearly wrote down oh. Iron Giant in my notes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, so... Let's get to the bank and... Yes, let's, let's get this stuff done. Um... Uh, kind of. I, I don't mind being vice-treasurer uh, um, if you want me to just fill out the treasury stuff in the loot bag. Yep. Uh, I can't remember who has <coughs> access to the loot bag. Edwin. So. Oh, Edwin only has access to the loot bag. And you also can edit it as well. Okay, I just need to click that. Edit. Huzzah. Okay, yeah. Alright, so we're heading off to the bank. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, you go to the bank. Uh, again, it's early morning, so no one's really around. You go along, you show the letter. The clerk accepts it, runs it by the manager. The manager also agrees with it. Pays you your 600 gold. Okay, that is put in there. Yep, put in the stash. Yeah, how much would that be? How much would all the money be like in terms of gold? Because I know it's not one point eight three. Wouldn't that wouldn't that one turn into one um, one plat? Yeah, you currently oh. have eight hundred and twelve gold, so an extra six hundred would knock you up to one thousand four hundred and twelve. Okay, one thousand four hundred and twelve. Okay. Nice. Done. No, not in total gold. The actual gold section. Oh. Uh, Ed, Ed's been no, making no, I, like I, a total at the bottom. Oh wait. Oh god. Now I mess things up. I know it was one point eight three. I'll turn it back to how it originally was. <laughs> okay. And then what the frick is going on? The, okay, maybe this was a terrible idea. 
<laughs> like, as, yeah, as just, you're, like, doing the maths. Just blank out the total. Do you want me to edit the sheet? Yes, please. Like, you're, you're doing the maths, I just rip out my loot, and then you just you just get, like, that metal song in my head going, What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay. Gold is updated. Until you guys decide to divvy out or do whatever. Oh, okay. <sighs> Alright. Whole map okay, now yeah. I'm not going to be able okay. to use. Yep, and so, yeah, what do we do now? I mean, do we go should back we, to Barahan? Should we um, head actually to the grotto? Or should we actually let the um, council know that we may have taken care of the mine and then we can get the supply? Uh -huh. Like resources to borrow him. That is very good, and possibly another reward to add to our coffers. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. Yeah, let's... we need to be very careful though. If Goldmire is a part of the council, mm. we don't want to lead on to anything. Yeah, that's a good point. <coughs> I'll tell you what. We'll go in there, <coughs> All right. Get it done, but we'll be as least suspicious as possible. Okay. Would be easier if we had a hat for this situation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll move you guys back to the city map now. So you go back to the council offices. Uh, uh, currently, there is no one in session to be seen by the council. The clerk um, apologizes that some members of the council are not available. So technically, what happens can't be put on the record, but they can amend it in later. Right. Okay. Right. Like if they if they just have to make a decision, they have to wait till they have enough people to actually call a vote. Right. Gotcha. Uh, um. Like, is everyone joining me other from the council, or, or do you want me to represent? Or are unreachable at this hour. Ah. Uh, right. Uh, I mean, I could join you if you yep. want. Yeah. I mean, we might as well all, all go and yeah. be a part of it. They all know us anyway. Yeah. May as well. Right, so. All right. Then. I go up to the concession bit, um, and I'm just like, Fellow councilman, we return from exploring the mines as per your request. Took you some time to explore the mines. Currently, um, I will say, in terms of the council, it's two of the people who are familiar, and sitting in the central chair, dominating like the whole thing at the highest point, is Goldmire. Shit, 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 shit. And she <laughs> says to all of you, you know, it's taken a long time for you all to explore and seek out a mine for Iron Brand. But I'm sure you had I your do. reasons for taking your time. After all, a thorough investigation has to be thorough. Of course. Yeah, like, we did find some incriminating evidence, but we did have to take time to make sure that the evidence was indeed proper and not something forged or put there in order to be I'd like to basically just stay off off the beaten path. Yes. So, uh, what did you find in the mines, by chance? Well, it seemed as if the mines had... Oh, something very suspicious. Troglodyte, accompanied by this strange little green thing with, like, four eyes. Well, technically five if you count for massive one on its face. That thing you referred to as a gazer, and it was my pet gazer that was stolen from me a few days ago. Stolen? I oh. would like to insight check that. Go for it. Mm, not. Uh, do you believe that she has had her gazer stolen? Okay. Well, I am. I am very. Okay, I can't. I, I, I worked very hard to, to raise that gazer. It's such a shame to. Here it was in the mine. Um, I assume by the fact that it's not here now that it perished at the hands of this troglodyte. I apologise, but yes, that is sadly true. Like I tried to, I tried to play this round a little bit. By the looks of things, the troglodyte decided to destroy it. By the Make... time we got there, the troglodyte was already dead, and so was your uh, seeker, was it? <laughs> Make a deception check. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, hey, it's 16. Oh. <coughs> yeah, so hang on a second. I actually made her in D&D &D Beyond, not in... Uh... Roll 20. Yeah. I was experimenting. Oh, okay. I will say on the stream, like, I'm not... Um, happy with how D&D Beyond works with monsters compared to like Roll20. Mm. I, I like click and drag options. Yeah. Uh, sits there and that's and begins to like choke a bit and uh, that's terrible. I didn't... <sighs> it took me so long to raise that gazer. It's a hard investment. What does she look like, if you don't mind me asking? Um, basically, the quickest and easiest way to describe her is Dolora Umbridge from Harry Potter. But instead of uh, the brunette black, blackish hair, she's like bright blonde. Okay. Okay. But still I'm quite, you know, pl plump in the body and plump in the face. But beyond all that, she keeps herself really well dressed and everything else. Okay, uh... I uh, I I share my condolences with you, Councilwoman. If uh, we got there earlier, maybe we could have saved your pet. Uh, if, if I had known the trouble I had taken the pet, I would have uh, sent my uh, guards to take care of it, or the cell source of the city guard. Ah, it is a real it, shame. It was, and it well, also put it was... uh, Lord Ironbrand out of business, so uh, now that mine has passed hands over to me, which is... Mm. A bit Sounds a like a win for you, Councilwoman. A win lost, really. Lost a gazer, gained a mine. But this is the way of business, at the end of the day. Um, but anything else from your report, dear adventurer? Well, well, apart from that, there was a lot of damage throughout the mine. Uh, more so fighting? I'm not too sure whether it was between all the miners throughout all of the shafts, and we explored everything. There were there was battle damage everywhere, from claw marks and battle scars to blood and bones. It seemed like a civil war down there, ma'am. That, that is rather harrowing to hear. I had not thought that such a thing could be uh, expressed so well. In, in now, any not case, too sure. Yeah, I suppose yeah. it's fair that... Uh, we look at the negotiation that was on the table. So, uh, in exchange for you going to the mine, we would consider your proposal. And it is at this point we have decided to decline your proposal. And as she says so, she flips over a, a very hefty folder closed. We don't feel, at least the members of the council when we discuss this privately, that aiding your small town would be a wise investment. But we have a delicate power woman. balance to consider, and helping you might upset that balance. I I understand completely, Councilwoman. You must think of your own businesses before the business of the businesses of others. But may I at least let you compliment this idea? There are villagers out there in need of desperate help and resources. Are your people not capable of mining, farming, and lumbering their way back to? Some sort of stature? I'm sure they would be able to, madam, but they need assistance now, or else they can't get back to that state. Yes, they are, after all, they are pretty badly taken a hit from that attack, what took place there. But you're still not uh, providing me with a bonus on my end. I invest time into you, and... I do not gain anything in return. What would I gain? A few more farms, a few, uh, a few lumberjacks. I don't see much investment in that area of things. I now have a massive mining and uh, smithing industry to oversee. How about this, Councilwoman? Think of it as an investment into something that could become much larger with your influence. Think of it as a business project that can bloom and blossom into potentially an industrial revolution that you, yourself, have brought on. That will cause you 
not just profit, but huge stature, not just within Bad Village alone, but within the city itself. Make a persuasion check at disadvantage. Oh, shit. Right, oh. this... Persuasion... Persuasion! Huh? Fuck! Oh, no! Oh, god damn. Your pleas tried... fall on deaf ears. Shit. Wait. <clears throat> Perhaps you could convince the nobles of Valencia to reinvest in their squalid little city-state. We have more pressing matters. Now, if there's anything else uh, that you have to discuss, maybe recent events in other mines that might have come about from your recent investigation. Is she trying to? Okay, is this, is she trying to hint uh, us having something to do with her mine? Uh, make an insight check. Oof. Okay, sixteen. You feel like she is trying to probe to see who actually set <laughs> off those charges in her mine. Okay. And, last, and she's going down the Iron Brand inquiry, and you guys are top of the list right now. Hmm. Uh, Councilwoman, um, Silver Furnace to you. I, well, we haven't been tasked to look into any other mines, so we haven't explored any other ones. I heard that there was a commotion with one of yours the other evening, but so I'm afraid we were simply at one of the inns all night. And I do have strong belief that uh, people are doing uh, these... Uh, um, they are placing us high in the list because, well, there is the fact that we are uh, strangers in this city. Indeed, so I'm just making a note of something. Um, well, if you were not involved, I see no reason to pursue this inquiry further. You are free to leave my city and go about your business. Very well, Councilwoman. Thank you for your time and thank you for your hospitality whilst we have been here in your fair city. Farewell, ma'am. And Beto just walks out. Hmm. <laughs> Like, <coughs> as we're walking out of the chamber, I look towards Batois and I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, Batois, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hot. Even better, if this woman's not going to give that village the supplies they need, I reckon we have to steal them off her. Yeah, well, that's true, that's true. I mean, she's got plenty enough to give out. She's got an entire new mine under her, under her wing. The least she can do is give away. Yes, but I will. I let you present it uh, and uh, handle the planning. I rather at least l try to look nice on uh, this console woman in front of her. Of course. Uh, so. Stabbing in the back isn't something new. Hmm. Not so much stabbing in the back as we're Robin Hooding. Taking from the rich yeah, and giving to the is, poor. Yeah, that is true. You we'll can do it in fabulous hats. I think for now we have more pressing matters of it. Finding hats! <laughs> <laughs> saying is if you have a fabulous hat on then then you'll disguise yourself so it's not as easily you see i told you the hats make sense yes they do i love this obsession with your hat it's what's driving <laughs> this campaign forward is to yes push for a hat hey hey those plus one stealth bonuses might come in handy <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's with the back the uh, balaclava Ooh. You get, you get oh. plus one to persuasion with the right kind of hat. Hat for every oh, like occasion. That. Anyways, uh, as you guys start to plot your next move, what is that next move going to be? Is it actually going to be hats? Right. Uh, okay, all in favour of hunting for hats. 
I am. <laughs> One. <laughs> like, Nil doesn't put up his hand. In fact, he doesn't seem to be paying attention to anything right now. I I, I tried I tried to like um, shuffle up to Neil and like put your hand up. <laughs> um, as soon as you try to touch his hand, he just immediately snatches it away. Like, just yeah, just snatches it away. Damn it! Like, <laughs> like just don't touch me, please. Okay, okay. Hmm. Marlon's just well. there nibbling on a leg of Gingy, just... <coughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, like, Gingy's I... giving this horrified look of... <gasps> it's my leg! Like we, uh, like I would point towards a place where we can all sit down and just discuss what, what's just gone down. And I just I just get everyone together and just say to him, Okay, I, I bought this up I, I bought this up to Batois, aka Capbo. Who's in favour of stealing some of their supplies and sending it back to the village? Wait. Wait, what? But we'll get caught, won't we? If it's a possibility, a but... If you are professional enough, you don't get caught. That's my point. I mean, we were able to blow up an entire mine without even being raising suspicion. If we can do that, surely we can steal some supplies just for the sake of restoring a town. We have the loot bag, I'm sure we can ferret something away in there. I mean, if it mean, even if it means we have to take the cart back ourselves and work our way back here so we can potentially head to where this treasure map goes. I don't know about you, but at least I would want to give something back to the village that were quite humble to us after we saved them from the orc ambush. I suppose you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose you have a point. Now I do warn you. We're only going to do this if we all have an agreement on it. Because if at any point the this fucks up, we need to run. And, and if this does fuck up fast. and we get caught, we will never be allowed here again. That is true. Fine by me. Why Are you so moody? to come back here anyway? There's a point. Okay, so if we're, if we're complimenting this idea, um, would we... Uh, uh, since we've... Uh, I'm going to guess because we've been close to the mining areas and bits like that, but we've seen a good amount of of this city to understand where some of the bits are would we know um where a sup like where where she would keep like supply carts or things with her like supply like building supplies uh up where three is it's basically goldmire's personal factory area right so if i sewn it off this might go horribly wrong or it might go amazingly well Bear it with me. And so, bet on number one. Everything in here, that purple square. Yeah, I shape, see it. Wow. And make it a bit larger. Yeah, now I see it. Yeah, everything in there basically is owned by the Goldmire Mining and Smelting Company. This includes things like their storehouses for raw goods, foundries to make the goods, and smelteries and so on and so forth. Uh, workshops and warehouses for shipping. Now you see, we could do if if we know where this is, we could do this one of two ways. For one, we get a car of supplies, or we get some supplies that we can escape from up here. So that means we have the longest trek back, and we have to go round the city on the outside and potentially. Pointed off from guards and whatnot, if they catch us. The only other way is if we escape via the southern now, southern entrance and exit, where it would be the easiest way out towards where we need to go. But the problem is we need to go through a majority of the city without getting caught. That is true, or we can uh, 
uh, we can do as I remember how the town is situated. Uh, we could try to go to the district of Goldmire and um, we could uh, steal some stuff and then just uh, go uh, around uh, next to the wall to the south entrance. Hmm. Both sound like guess... very good plans. Or, or I guess we do have a third plan. It just if we wanted to, I don't know, cause a little bit of ruckus for Goldmire on our way out. I mean, do we have any Emberstone left? We have one bag. Yeah, you got one what bag. We, and apologies we... to those watching, I forgot to flip the map over. So you ah, can no see worries. what was going on. Ooh. Uh, what if, and hear me out on this one, we create the easiest way out, which is we gather supplies in the, in the main area of her estate, and then blow this part of the wall with the last bit of Emberstone we have, and leave, causing some damage on our way out. We actually would cause probably the security of the city to come off after us, and if the blowing up the wall fails, we are totally trapped. Or, we blow up the wall, but we don't leave that way. Like, while everyone's attention is drawn to there, we could try to escape via either the northern or the southern entrances. That is true, that is true. That is a really good plan. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I have also pointed out, though, once you guys are free of the wall, the guard are very reluctant to chase. The people fight mm. on their own terms and terrain where they're comfortable. The city guard will fight very much at home in the city itself. They know all the alleyways, they know the rooftops. As soon as we're out the wall and gone, they are not going to be chasing us in huge numbers. That is true, mm. also. And if we go back, um, avoiding the roads, we do know the den of spiders, we could lead them through. That... That is very mm. true. Okay, we need consensus on this. Okay, who wants to sneak out without blowing stuff up? I raise my hand. Oh, now you raise your hand! <laughs> Nayab also raises her hand, but points out that any plan is sounding like a good plan anyway. Okay. And, um, well, Betoar half raises his hand. Okay. Let's, okay. With that said, how about we do this? go in there, we steal some gear, and we try and get out the best of our abilities without causing a ruckus. That but, is... if if things go south, and we need an instant exit, we blow the roof off this place and we get the hell out of here. The stone's yeah. create a diversion by blowing something else up. I what we do that? That's ah, the warehouse. That's it. That's it. Steal supplies from the warehouse, leave the Emberstone behind, and make that the distraction on our way out. That is true. I love it. The warehouse to the side, and then use the <coughs> confusion of that being blown up and people attending that whilst we nick the stuff, and then escape. I like it. Uh, we just have to make sure there aren't... Uh huge amounts of explosives there because it's then it's gonna be a big problem and if all else fails we have like spells that can distract like, that is true. authorities and and sort of slow them down <coughs> that is very true. this is a misdirection make them look mm. one way whilst we're looking the other way Mm. As you suggested, is putting the attention on us. Mm. 
different tactic. We expose the lady in charge. Oh, we oh wait, we still have that parchment thing. Coaches her, don't we? That's yes. true. Yeah. We could actually not expose her, but we could use it to blackmail her. And we That's would the point. probably get. I think a she's a bit more stern lady to be blackmailed. <laughs> okay. Well, blackmailing usually works. What it, let's put it this way when we were last in that council chamber, there was only like, what was it? It was Goldmire and like a couple of other councilmen, but not the whole yeah. band. Yeah. Not what if we... Well, it's not so what much if... the whole lot, it's more enough to be declared, uh, I think, solvent's the term. Right. Mm. So they can't make any official decisions, but they can at least see people and get the process started and get all the information, and then when other council members turn up later, they can sit there and go, well, here's what happened this morning, what we agreed on point A, B, C, D, and go through the whole list. Hmm. It's what old if, and it's boring, but it actually works. If we could get the council members on our side and potentially cause Goldmire to be kicked off from the council, then maybe we <coughs> then maybe, just maybe, don't just help the city in general by getting one of their most well, who we seem to be like one of the more malicious members of the council. On top of that, the other council members might be more willing to obviously give help to to the village, and that's why we're here in the first place. That is true, because, well, Goldmire does hold, like, 46% of the town in his hands. Her. Her hands. Because that would be better than just leaving Goldmire to run her... Because even if we did steal some supplies from her, she can just get those supplies back just like that with all of her power. That mm -hmm. is true. At least with this, we actually cut the head off of the beast itself. That is true. Yeah. I like this idea, but we need to find a way on how we can duplicate that document and make it look legit enough for the other council members to take it on board. We need someone who can forge documents. Mm. Just let me check here. I think I might be able to do that. You can? Mm. Mm. Uh, for I was going to say, forging documents is until about level 9 for rogues. Oh. oh. Damn it. Or something like that. It's quite okay. far down. I think. Double... I'll double check. Grook. I love D D Beyond. <coughs> so handy. Yes, it is. Except when you're creating monsters and NPCs. Yes, then it's a little bit awkward. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Somewhere. It's part of the assassin? Yeah, part of the assassin tree, uh, ninth level, infiltration expertise. Great false identities. Oh. I believe it's what you were thinking of. Mm. I may be wrong, my brain is trying to now outplan you guys, because you guys are going, slightly off what I planned. But that's on this <laughs> Okay, <point>. so... <laughs> I, I, I'm really digging this plan suddenly. Um, okay. I, I'm... Actually, okay with this. Hmm. Yes. I, I mean, would actually like to get her back. Yes. Is there is there anyone in the city that might be able to help us forge these documents? Uh oh, that is a good point. What kind of role? Uh, go for an insight with advantage because you know people like Iron Brand are against us. Are you looking at uh, companies that are going to be bought out or but or in the process of being bought <coughs> out? So it was insight. Yeah, insight, insight with advantage. Okay. Oh, we can totally. We might be able to even catch Iron Brand and see if he knows anyone else that we can get on our side. Oh, oh. oh. uprising! I love it. Don't love that role. Oh no, uh -huh. I do. Love it I, I like that role. Nil has the Pretty best good. role of them all. 
primarily <laughs> because one, nil. like as as you guys are going around town and everything else and and you're talking about your plan your first stop is obviously iron brand because you know he hates goldmire and wants goldmire out of the picture <laughs> by any means necessary um he can't help you because obviously he needs to leave town with a relatively clean sheet of paper behind him so he's paid off all his debts and everything else. He's closing up shop here. <coughs> um, but he will say that if you're planning to hit Goldmire's warehouses, destroy her foundries by any means necessary. Like, ruin the chain of production if you can. You've taken out a gold mine, which is a drop in the ocean compared to what else she has Hi. coming in and out of the city. So if you can take all that out, you, you're on to a winner. Um... The second thing he points out as well, if you really want to get a gold mine, go to the uh, the miners' housing district, which is zone two on the map. Okay. Try and get in with some people there. They might be able to start uprisings in the mine, which will draw guards away, start causing a bit of chaos and a bit of uprising. Because there's like because there were like a lot of um, deep gnomes and like other miners that were malnutrition, like they were mm -hmm. malnourished, and yeah. Yeah, that's just not on. So, start a workers' union. That will ruin everything. And mm. then finally, he has three more companies that might be interested in your plan, or they might not come about it publicly. You might have to do some work for them on the side. Mm. Uh, one of them is the Golden Cog. Okay. Golden Cog. Yes. Uh... The Iridium Blade Company. Iridium Blade Company. <coughs> and the last one is a bit of a weird one. As they call themselves the Steam Wheel Transport Company. Speed Wheel? Steam Wheel. Oh, Steam Wheel. Yes. I'll type in the chat so it helps. Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. I was like, Golden Cog. I think it's Golden Cog, not whatever you just wrote down, Tom. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Thank, thank God the DM is corrected. <laughs> That's just an error. Cog. Is it a cog wheel? Okay, so if we can get those guys on us, hit up the miners' district to get those guys on our side, and then Maybe. try and forge these documents to then get the other councilmen on our side, mm -hmm. we can make this entire city turn over on Goldmire and actually help help this place become even better than it was. Uh, yeah. Iron, Brand, Iron Brand points out to you three that the three companies he mentioned, they are like the next three riches companies after Goldmire. Right. So, so they, they will to topple Goldmire to then rip the system apart and then they can take what's left. Okay. Alright. Ideas are good. I think the first major thing we should do <coughs> before anything else do the easiest thing, which is to get the miners onto our side. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon with them being malnourished and them having strong <laughs> angst about their jobs, they are going to be the easiest to get on our side. Yep. Then, no, like if we do it in order of easiest to hardest and do mm -hmm. it from the miners, the companies, then the councilmen. Yeah. And ev then even if most of the council do not see it in our way, at least we have enough civil unrest to make them change their minds by intimidation. That is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. So effectively, if all hell breaks loose with us in the council, we can literally just leave the council house, come outside, there's everyone outside of us, and then we can just go, All right, boys! Burn it! <laughs> Let them! Yeah. Have at it! Yeah. <laughs> Have at it. It is yours to burn. I it think. is yours to do as you wish. Yes. 
Okay. I actually like this. Let's begin Operation Gold Binding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let, let, Yeah. And we yeah. shall begin that operation next week, because I've got a lot of prep to do. Oh, <laughs> was such a cool idea. Yeah, it, we're starting a I, revolution, guys. I didn't plan for you guys to do that, FYI. <laughs> what I planned for you guys to do was... Dice? No, you don't get inspiration dice. Damn it! Uh... <laughs> because you asked for it. Uh, oh, damn it! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I mean, everyone else can get inspiration dice because technically I only asked for No, 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 you asked everyone? on behalf of the party, you ruined it for everyone else. Fuck! God damn it! This is, this is a school yeah. classroom, you speak up, you speak up for the whole class, not just you. Shit. So, uh, any shout outs or anything before we wrap up tonight? Well, as far as it goes, I'm still Sir Foxy Streams. I can be found on Twitch. And, um,. My streams are on Mondays and Wednesdays on 10 p.m. my time, which is GMT. Uh, actually, it's CEST, I think. Uh, so GMT plus three at the moment because daylight saving time. And um, yeah, well, I think that's it for me. Sexy. Uh, apart, from, apart, apart from that, I uh, guess the only thing I would say is hello. Thank you, people that have been watching the stream on my end. Uh, the Explorer on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube, uh, from which I stream to all. Um, I normally try and stream at least four days a week, being Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, sadly, this week, the Tuesday will be a no go. Due to me treating my dad to a late birth, uh, to a late Father's Day meal out, which would be quite nice. Also um, remember that this is going out Saturday, Dom. So. Oh, well, well, I'm just saying. <coughs> Hello. I'm doing it now. <laughs> I'm just saying. There, there are people in the Twitch <laughs> chat, so that's okay. They'll know. And it's also, okay. you, you guys that are live will get it. <laughs> yeah, and there is also the fact that I'm actually probably gonna just uh, edit this uh, broadcast a little bit and upload it to YouTube as well. Woohoo! Nice. I might, do, I might do a couple of edits in order to like sti stifle up the uprising and just be like, a civil war is coming. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, for, if it makes everyone laugh, in my notes, I literally sat down here as you guys were like plossing over things. It's like, okay, you plan to destroy the god my district. Oh, Get council on your side, brackets, Game of Thrones. Close brackets. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, effectively, if you did like the stuff, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Not just with me, but with everybody that's been on the streams. Uh, support everyone, create the community, and make the community great. Hashtag stay explosive. We'll be seeing you next time. Indeed. And the final thing for me, for those that are watching live, um... Wednesday night, 8pm, Tales from the Southern Continent. It's coming back after a very long hiatus. Hopefully, Yay. assuming work doesn't suddenly go, hey, could you come in and work tonight? So, uh, what will happen, I don't know. Uh, assume the usual madness of the party deciding to do something and me having to make it up on the fly. Yes, that probably it is. It's it going to be a huge amount of fun. Um, yes. Tomorrow-wise, tomorrow night, um, part of me wants to play Sea of Thieves. Because they, they've oh, yeah. released new content. Besides the Megalodon, there's now like Skull Thrones, which is like a single player thing for you to do. So Ooh. I am down to do that. I need to go explore and sail my ship. Nice. And become the pirate that you always wanted to be. I'm always a pirate. When do you think I wear the bandana? Fair enough. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate. A pirate's life free. You. You just need an eye patch, a pat on your shoulder. And also a bottle of rum. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no I, I have a bottle of rum. That's Good. Now he is a pirate. <laughs> <laughs>
or then he should should be just uh, uh, continuously almost uh, saying, "Why is the rum gone? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the rum always gone?" <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so with that, we bid you all a fair good night and see you all next time for more tales of fumbles and fortunes. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.